Hello, welcome to uh, what I hope is the first of several trainings on SilkyPix Pro. Um, I'm using SilkyPix Developer Studio Pro 8, uh, the English version, and um, uh, there are different versions of SilkyPix out there. You may have an older version of the camera. I just wanted to uh, just describe to you that I am working with uh, version 8, and I wanted to start, I'll apologize, I'm using um, free tools to uh, to do this training with. Hopefully that'll get better um, as I get better. But uh, just to start, um, I wanted to talk about exposure because the exposure in Silky Pix uh, acts slightly different than exposure in some other raw converters that are out there. A lot of them will actually act as kind of a mid-tone um, brightness control where moving the exposure back and forth will kind of slosh the mid-tones back and forth between a bright point and a dark point. And uh, Silky Pix actually works a little bit differently. And I'll just show you. Uh, I have a... a grayscale uh, uh, JPEG. I actually downloaded this from the internet somewhere. Um, values anywhere from, you know, right now it's about 243 brightness here on a scale of two, 0 to 255 and then pure black over here. Um, and it just this is a good way, I just really suggest downloading any tool that you're going to be using that you're not quite entirely sure what it does, getting something like a grayscale like this so that you can, um, a step wedge, so that you can see what your tools are actually doing. It's a little bit easier sometimes. Um, and I'm just going to take, I'm going to go over here to the exposure. Now the exposure by default goes from negative three to plus three, but you can actually use these little arrows keys to move that up to, I believe, plus or minus eight. And I accidentally clicked there. Um, so just want you to see though, there's this little drag and there's also these little buttons. Um, if you can click on these buttons and it'll set them to like preset values. I believe this is a third of a stop, a half stop, um, two-thirds of a stop, one full stop, etc. But I'm just going to drag this and I want you to watch and what you'll see I think is that the brightest points are going to white very quickly whereas the darkest points aren't being affected that much. These values over here as I've moved up to plus 0.7 are pretty close to what they started at. Whereas over here, these white point, these lighter wedges have uh, gone white very quickly. Um, and as I move this up, you'll see even at, uh, as I move up to, I'll just go up to all the way up to plus three and we can go further if we wanted to, but you'll see what while these have gotten brighter, um, the left side of the step wedge has gotten brighter much faster than the right side. And so what that is telling you is this is, the exposure here is actually acting as a way to set a white point. Um, so it's a little bit different thinking than what you may be used to with, um, with some other raw converters. It might be sort of similar, but so you're using the, the exposure button to set the white point of the image. Um, and that is, I think, just kind of like an aha moment for me. I spent a lot of time trying to figure out, oh, how, because there, there isn't a recovery highlight slider. So usually with, a, with other raw converters, you kind of shove the mid-tones where you want them, and then you use the, you know, like one of my HDRs up there like that. But um, you usually get the mid-tones right, and then you use a highlight slider or recovery slider. To, and with this, you're actually going to be using the, exposure to adjust your your highest point, your brightest point, your white point. And then if you go into the, the contrast um, sub-control, uh, there's this black level. And let me just show you what black level does. Black level actually acts almost like the opposite of what the, um, what the exposure slider did. You remember the exposure slider was pretty much making the white points the brighter parts of this uh, image brighter without really affecting the darkest tones. And the black level is actually doing the opposite. It's, it's mostly affecting these darker tones, not affecting the brighter tones as much. So uh, the upshot is um, there's, when you're adjusting exposure, and there's actually a couple different ways to adjust the exposure. Um, one is to use a slider or these little buttons to pick preset items. There's also a kind of automatic exposure button over here that'll try to correct using whatever algorithm it uses. 
Um, there's also this exposure bias tool, and that can actually be controlled. If you go into settings, function settings, um, luminous value level of exposure bias tool from 10 to 100 percent. By default, it's set to 85 percent. So, what that means is that if you click on this tool, whatever value you pick will be set to 85 percent brightness. And then anything obviously brighter than that will become brighter, anything darker. So, this in when I clicked on over there, it adjusted the exposure by about half a stop. Um, so, how does this help you with your adjusting images in Silky Picks? Well, let's pick a, an image, and not that one. We'll pick this one. This is the first picture I ever took with uh, an Olympus camera. Um, it's of a cat because, of course, the internet would be a sad place if nobody took cat pictures of it. So I'm keeping up my end of the bargain. Um, looking at it, it does look a little dark. Looking at the histogram, it also looks like it could be brighter. Um, so I'm just going to press the little auto exposure and see what it says. It says um, plus 1.59, which seems a little high, but um, uh, when you see, when you adjust, I'm actually going to bring it down just a little bit. I'm going to bring it down to 1.4. Like um, nothing's blown out. We don't have any uh, super bright areas. It does seem now maybe a little overexposed, but that's where we come back in. We're going to look at our black level. I'm just going to bring that up slowly until I feel like there's enough. Um, and I'm a big fan of black levels. I like that kind of density. I think it adds a nice um, amount of punch and contrast to the image. Um, I'm not particularly concerned if there's areas that do go completely black. Obviously, if you are concerned about that, you can always back off a little bit. Um, I think somewhere in uh, like the black level 10. And there I think we have a really nice image. Um, I might actually even bring the exposure back down just a touch more. to 1.2 and there we have like with only two adjustments um, a much stronger raw image um, for further editing there's the original and there's the edit um, and so that's all for this uh, session and hopefully you enjoyed it or learned something from it um, I learned things just by sometimes talking through uh, my thought process so hopefully uh, um, some of that uh, helps you a little bit, and uh, hopefully this is the first of several videos. Um, thank you again for, uh, for watching.